To start with the Turkey's position in the World League, Turkey is the sixth most visited country in the world. It was uh, the seventh rank in 2010. In 2011, Turkey surpassed the numbers of the arrivals of the United Kingdom and reached the sixth rank in the world of tourism in terms of the foreign arrivals. Almost 30 million uh, foreign arrivals, excluding the day uh, visits and transit passengers. In fact, Turkey, over the uh, last 10 years, between 2011 uh, 2001 to 11, almost tripled numbers of the uh, foreign arrivals to Turkey uh, and uh, reached 31.4 million foreign arrivals last year. Coming to this year's uh, first nine months of the year, uh, Turkey is uh, experiencing another successful year and already surpassed the number of foreign arrivals number of 2011 and reached 25.7 million arrivals. As you see in our major uh, markets, there's uh, huge growth rates. Germany and Russia, United States, um, Netherlands and Belgium and Sweden there are uh, big growth rates. This is especially important uh, given the current economical uh, climate in the world and especially our main market in Europe. <coughs> this list shows the top 10 visited cities of the world. There are two cities from Turkey in the top 10 list. One is Antalya, after Paris and uh, London, Antalya is the most uh, third visited city in the world, which is not very well known, so I want to strengthen this uh, fact. And another city is Istanbul. Istanbul is the ninth most visited city in the world, with 8.1 million visitors. Turkey's top uh, markets uh, are in the list. The uh, biggest three markets are Germany, Russia, and United Kingdom. We received uh, almost 5 million uh, arrivals from Germany, excluding uh, Turkish citizens, <coughs> and uh, 3.5 million from Russia, and two, more than 2.5 million arrivals yeah. from the United Kingdom. <laughs> Moving to the most popular holiday destinations in the United Kingdom, Turkey has become a very popular destination over the last five years, I would say, uh, because Turkey grew by 50% in the market over the last five years. Uh, according to the national statistics uh, of the United Kingdom, Turkey is the seventh most popular uh, holiday destination. Uh, however, we uh, we disagree with this uh, because uh, uh, the national statistics of the United Kingdom uh, do the research on a forecast-based research methodology. However, in Turkey, we register every single entry to the country. So our number is uh, 2.6 million arrivals from the United Kingdom. So according to our statistics office in Turkey, Turkey is actually fifth most uh, popular tourist destination in the United Kingdom. Arrivals from the United Kingdom on the basis of the nouns is shown in the chart. As you see, uh, mostly our British guests visit Turkey during the summer time. But this summer season is not short in Turkey, in fact. More than six months. Most popular months, uh, clearly July and August. However, we see May and June and uh, September and October are also very, very strong and popular months to visit Turkey. And we are seeing that our 
winter operation is growing very, very fastly. I would like to give you a very interesting result, actually. From, perhaps this is compatible with the rest of the market, but the number of the package holiday, uh, uh, holiday makers are on the line, and the same for Turkey. While the independent holiday makers are increasing to Turkey, the package holiday market always is shrinking slightly. Uh, but the independent holiday ma mar uh, makers to Turkey increased 50% over the last five years. In 2005, 76% of the arrivals to Turkey from the United Kingdom were package holidays. <coughs> Last year, this figure went down to 64%, and 36% of the arrivals were completely independent holiday makers. Again, according to the national statistics of the UK, uh, the average staying uh, period in Turkey is 11 days and average uh, expenditure is 511 pounds. Our uh, most popular departure points are Manchester by 25%, second is Gatwick Airport by 24%, Heathrow is 11%. This is covering all the airports, departure airports to Turkey. However, in fact, the main departure point for Turkey is London Airport, actually. So, almost 50% of the arrivals in Turkey from the UK coming from London Airports. Next slide shows the distribution among the London Airports, the, the, the departures <coughs> from London. <laughs> Clearly, Catholic is the biggest departure point for Turkey too, because it's a leisure airport mainly, and second is Heathrow Airport by 24%. Main arrival point in Turkey for British holiday makers yeah. is Mula. Mula perhaps it's not known as, as Mula name, but it's a very big region, the governor city of the most popular tourist destinations for uh, British holiday makers, which is namely Fethiye, Bodrum, <coughs> um, uh, Marmaris, of course, which is the biggest one, uh, Dacia. Uh, we have two airports in Mula. One is Dalaman, the other one is Bodrum Vilas Airport. And 62% of the arrivals from the United Kingdom coming to Mula Airport. And Antalya is growing very, very fast. In fact, 10 years ago, we had a few British holiday makers in Antalya. Today, we are receiving around half a million arrivals from the UK to Antalya. And Antalya's uh, market share uh, now 16%. And after, right after Antalya, Istanbul is growing very fast as well. And uh, as a city break and culture to destination, Istanbul receives 14% of the arrivals. I would like to speak about Turkey's image in, uh, in the UK very shortly. This was a very, very big research by Intel. And just I would like to share with you some interesting results. Mr. Rosaslan already mentioned that uh, one third of the adult population in the UK been to Turkey at some point. Uh, this is very, very encouraging result for us. Um, but more importantly, there is a potential. 34% of the adult population mentioned that they haven't been to Turkey, however, it is in their list to visit. So this is a big potential. We conducted the same research in 2005, and now when we compare the results with 2005 and 11, we see huge improvement on the image of Turkey and attitudes towards the uh, British holiday makers. For example, in 2005, only 19% of the adult population had been to Turkey. But this figure changed by 63%. Now 31% of the population been to Turkey. And the potential who never been to Turkey but would like to visit Turkey was 24% in 2005. Now this potential became 
four percent. There is a group of uh, people who are not totally negative about visiting Turkey, but not especially interested in visiting the country. It was 34% in 2005. Now we see it is 22%. Lastly, there is a group of people who are completely negative towards visiting Turkey. It was 23% of the adult population in 2005. But now, last year, we see this is only 13%. Having said that, I would like to mention that 20% of the British uh, population never go overseas. <laughs> Another interesting result, and for us very positive and encouraging, is the rate of the repeat visits to Turkey. In Turkey, half of the uh, visits are repeat by the uh, British people. That shows high satisfaction rate of uh, uh, tourists, uh, tourists I, I believe. When we try to understand what is the image of Turkey among the uh, British people, we have given 16 words that are uh, applicable to Turkey. Half of them were <coughs> negative, half of them were positive. Luckily and happily, we had the eight <coughs> positive uh, words came first. But mostly, uh, Turkey is perceived as sunny. This is not a surprise. A sunny country, good climate, that's one of the main motives to visit Turkey. What's surprising is, <coughs> right after the uh, <coughs> sunny word, history comes. And by 55% 50, of the responders, historic word is picked and third one was cultural and fourth one was value for money. As a result, uh, we can easily say that rich people visiting Turkey not only for the climate but also culture and history. When we ask what were the reasons to visit Turkey, again good weather came first, but right after good weather by 50% culture and history. Uh, on second, third one was great features, natural beauty. Again, fourth one is value for money. This result is confirming the pre previous ones as the number of the cultural tours to Turkey is increased. 24% of the respondents said they went to Turkey for longer cultural historical tours. And another one, 71% of the visitors, British visitors in Turkey, being to a historic site and museum, which is also very interesting and uh, very encouraging. We, from these results, we understand people are not coming to Turkey from the UK, not coming for, to Turkey just for sun and sea beach holidays. They also come for culture, history, and they're staying longer and longer for this kind of tours. <coughs> I mentioned earlier, 50%, almost 50% of our visitors are repeat. This is because high tourist satisfaction. When we ask the responders whether they enjoyed their holiday in Turkey or not, 70% of the respondents gave Turkey top marks, one and two. 19% gave a uh, medium uh, rate, and only 3% of the responders said they didn't enjoy in Turkey. Obviously, we're going to uh, work continuously to, uh, to improve our services and customer satisfaction, but this result is already uh, very, very positive for us. And uh, thank you very much uh, for listening to me, and uh, if you have questions, they are ready to transfer. <laughs>